Scavenger. This game was brought to my attention and purchased for me by uh, Prince Kazla. I'll have a link to his channel in my description, but let me see. Dark Scavenger saves automatically after completing an event. Okay, so this is a point and click RPG thing. I'm sorry, I don't have all the details for you just yet. We will discover the details together. You are drifting alone through space. That happens all the time. So, a massive creature approaches you from the blackness. This happens in space too a lot. Most people don't know about these big blob mountains, but uh, they, they live in space. You can see the... See, it's got that those eyelashes, so this one's, uh, oh, what's this over here, though? Let's check my weapons. Okay, that was not an eyelash. Am I mistake? Oh, just another human. How disappointing. I was hoping for something a bit more filling. <laughs> I didn't see your intestinal tract there. Yeah, you want to put a human in it, do ya? But you revealed your lungs to me, so ah, surprise! <laughs> you shouldn't have showed me where your vulnerable points were. <laughs> Get away from you, freaky sweet! Ah, who are you? Tell me about yourself. I like chatting when there's no atmosphere. My name is Den. I am the apex of eternity <laughs> and the beginning of something more elaborate. You're more elaborate than Eternity, huh? Hmm. He's crazy. But let us conclude this verbal exchange. I must introduce you to a new breed of existence. <laughs> you won't consume me so easily. Eat me if you dare, monster! That, that sounds better. <laughs> Den cackles loudly. As you wish. Yeah, the messages during this battle will teach you how to play. Oh, this is a fight, is it? Cool! Oh, let's see. An uh, uh, old rusty sword! Uh, it's the start of something more complex than eternity. I'm gonna shove a rusty sword into it. It has a 0% stun chance, does 1 to 2 damage. <laughs> oh, it's also got low, mid, and high damage. Well, that's good. Ah. Uh, Battle Booster increases the damage of your next old sword attack. Oh, okay. So it's like a whetstone. An old robot. Stun an opponent with this robot and set them up for powerful weapon attacks. Stun chance 100%. What does 1 to 3 damage with a stun chance of 100%? That sounds good to me. Do it. That, that one. Ha <laughs> ha! Stunned with a laser! Okay, and now my old sword's attack's all powered up. Bonk! Weapon minus one. Hmm. Did I just lose a weapon? Den shakes off being stunned. Den stares at me. Robot! Stun it! <laughs> Punch it! No. Just... Punch it! <laughs> I can just punch you to- uh oh. It's focusing. Try clicking on the upper left corner to attack Den hand to hand. Your fists do not degrade, but do very little damage. I figured that was out. STUN! Focus through this. You know, you might be- you might be the start of something more complex than Eternity, and you, you might be all awesome and stuff, but I got an old robot, and frankly that just trumps anything you can do. I'm just gonna hit you with my sword again. I mean, when you got a strategy that works, you may as well just stick with it. I, I want. I can't use my robot anymore. Oh no! I'll hit you with my sword then. Then wraps its huge hand around your body. Something bad is about to happen. Take 10 damage. Oh! Something bad is about to happen. Uh, what? It strikes you for tremendous damage. Use the healing potion in the top right corner to restore your health. Okay! 
Yeah, there's some drips left in there. I didn't finish it off. I got a second dose. Can I please have my robot of stunning back? Then hurls an asteroid into your fragile body. Uh, didn't hit me hard enough. No, not my fragile body. He crushes you with his metal head. I really wish I had my ally back. Ugh. It opens a black hole and throws you into it. Oh, man. Ah. It's a good thing I'm really durable. You dive below Den's massive teeth as they chomp down. I've used everything I got. Just stab it again. You're strong for a human. Much stronger than I anticipated. I thought I killed you. Look, I stabbed you in all your vulnerable points because you left them exposed like a dummy. See, I store my vulnerable points behind skin so you can't see where they are. <laughs> it's really a shame that you resisted me. I could offer you something much greater than the reality you know. I shall leave you to rot in space. It's awfully hard to rot in space. Now, there's a lot of things that can happen to you in space, but rotting is not generally one of them. <laughs> when your body has faded away, I will return to collect your eternal essence. Farewell. Feels like I've been asleep for years. Oh, you like even your eyelids weigh a thousand pounds as your body struggles to stand. Yes, the space stand. <laughs> Slowly, you open your eyes. No, let's just close our eyes again. Let's um. Yep. Yep. No. 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 Going back to sleep. All right. What do we got here? You have tentacles coming out of your mouth. Two fingered hands that end in two more fingers. Yep. So this looks like a friendly chap. Somebody you might want to, you know, hang out at the local bar, <laughs> go drinking with. This is a gremlin goblin man with a silly, silly hairdo and a suit. And this is a ping pong table with a lich sitting upon it. There's a television with antennas. Still using antennas on TVs in space. As well as plumbing. Because the TV has to have plumbing. Yep. I think I've taken this all in. So this guy's going to try to sell me insurance. This fellow and me are going to go drinking in the bar. Oh, there's an eyeball plant. I didn't catch that till now. And this guy's probably going to try to steal my soul in exchange for power. Greet the strange creature in front of you. Oh, I thought I was going to talk to him. Okay, fine. You use a crossbow gun. I uh, wasn't really expecting that. Greetings, traveler. My name is Kamaho, and on behalf of all dark scavengers, I welcome you to our ship. You were not a human before you died. I noticed the shape of your skull and the fact that your eyeballs didn't <laughs> didn't rot with the rest of your body. Welcome, new dark scavenger friend. My name's Falson, and the big one with the mouth is Gazer. I suppose you're wondering why you're here. Ah, uh, yes, that'd be good to know. We found you floating through space. We weren't sure if you were going to wake up at all. That would have been very sad. We would have only been able to harvest your bones. Do you like my bow tie? Yes, it's a lovely bow tie. We would love to let you rest, but unfortunately your life is still in peril. How so? Our ship is running out of fuel, and when that happens, we will all perish. Really? You'll perish? I mean, I can survive in the vacuum of space just fine. I don't see why the ship running out of fuel would be a problem for me. 
Uh, I guess you're always hungering for flesh or something, though. <laughs> well, can we get more fuel? We can, but it won't be easy. Because our ship is... Oh, hello. Our ship detects a tremendous source of power emanating from a fortress on the planet that we're currently orbiting. If you could get in there and grab it for us, we could use it as fuel and maybe get out of this mess. Uh, why are you asking me to do all the work? We'll be able to support you through crafting powerful equipment for you. I'm on board. Say no more. You just want me to murder people and steal their fuel for power. I, I, I thought you were going to ask for my soul or something. But unfortunately, all of us are terrible fighters. Hmm. I'll explain the rest when you get down there. Head through the exit door when you're ready to depart. Could I have a rusty? I could. I, could I have a? Let me think. Let me think. I need an advanced, powerful weapon. Could I have a sharp sword that's not rusty? Maybe a nail gun. I could wield a nail gun. Oh, hello there, newcomer. I suspect you have questions for me. I heard of a giant space monster named Den. Oh, yes, I'm aware of Den. Uh, well, I can't tell you much, I'm afraid. That is to say, I don't know much. I mean, uh, let's talk about something else. You know more than your tally. Anyway, we already knew that. Can I have the rusty helmet? My deal? Do you mean my background? Oh, nothing too exciting, I'm afraid. That's a nice long fingernail there. It's always good to keep one long fingernail, right? Yep. Yeah. I'm from a planetary system not too far from here. Most of my people are proud warriors, but myself, I'm a bit of a recluse. Also, I am undead. <laughs> I end up on the ship. I, in fact, built this ship. Not alone, of course. I originally constructed to isolate myself from the demands of our society, but most recently I've used it to recover stranded space travelers such as yourself. Why would you get away from your society? Various reasons. I consider myself an inventor first and an arms dealer second. But unfortunately, the rest of my society disregarded the former. If you invent weapons, you can combine these skills and be very successful. As my skills became further sought after, the consequences of my actions began to weigh in. I decided I didn't want to be part of that anymore. Okay. How about you? Hi, friend! Have you heard of the den? You mean the huge space monster that eats stranded space travelers? Yeah, what do you know about him? Who? Den. Who's Den? You just described him. You big goof, I never said such things. Okay, fine. I'm an alien. Okay. I, 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 whenever I'm in space and some creature asks me what I am, I immediately answer, I'm an earthling. You're an alien. What? <laughs> From space! What part of space? The outer part! How did you get here? Kamaho saved me with his spaceship. What a guy! This is weird. Have you heard of a giant space monster? I'll take that as a yes. How do you look pale? Looks the other way. Where are you from? Points towards the window. <laughs> it points at its lack of a mouth. Okay, so this guy picked up people floating in space. Apparently, floating in space, being spaced, is incredibly common around here. The forest beckons. Okay, then. Well, they're not bear traps, but I don't trust them. Hey, my health potion was fixed. I, I guess it's a regenerating health potion. What do we got here? Hmm. Uh, oh, uh, oh, where'd these come from? Swiftly taking notice of you, the bandits placed their heavy cargo on the ground, staring at you in disdain. Hi! Uh, what do you think you're doing? Don't you know who we are? 
Don't you know who I am? Uh, should we know you? I'm a dark scavenger, a powerful being who could easily destroy. I am your leader, fool! Bow down before me! I, I, I'm from a nearby village. I, I was just, just wandering the forest alone. Boy, you know, I think they'd ex I, I'd expect them to know who their own leader is, but this one just feels like the most fun. The bottom one, though, feels like they might actually, like, just kind of be helpful to me and tell me where the, the village is <laughs> or something. I don't know. This is probably the smart pick. I don't know why. I mean, you'd think this would be, but I know this is just spoiling for a fight. So I'm going to try. I'm going to try. I'm going to try it. It's, it's not going to work. Ah, you don't look like you're our leader. I'm wearing a disguise right now. You dare to fight <laughs> uh, Should I just scream, I said bow down, or should I tell them I'm wearing disguise? Oh, I said bow down! We're sorry, Master Zomagas. We'll be on our way. The bandits dropped the large box on the ground before scampering into the distance. Oh. Good work with those bandits. Looks like you found some loot. Do you know what to do with it? Uh, no. We parked our ship nearby. Click on an arrow after gaining some loot and we'll come back. you'll come back to the ship where we'll be able to make something useful out of it. This is our ship, for your reference. Is that, that a crab claw? Hmm. Huh. But that that's a crab claw. There's a crab person. There's a crab person over there. I can just have the pistol. I'll just take the flintlock pistol. And the sword. And the mace. And the arrows. And the crank. Uh, cranks. You know, in point and click adventures, you always need a crank for some reason. So I'll, I'll just take it now. When you come here, we'll take the loot you collected and make cool equipment out of it. I can make powerful weapons. Falsen can create helpful items. Gainzer can summon useful allies. Obtaining loot can be tricky, but it's the only way to become stronger. Aw, oh, there's no level ups. Sliding the marble container open with a mighty shove reveals a dehydrated skeleton within. Well, let's start forging weapons. We can probably make uh, arrows out of the femurs. The skull can become a helmet. Oh, there's all kinds of uses for this. One of the bones looks a little different. It's been caramelized! Oh, great! Why not? I'll take a caramelized bone. Examine the janky tree. Uh, why not just slam my shoulder into it? Let's climb it. The bark breaks beneath your fingertips, planting you back on the ground. Well, I wish I had a weapon or item to throw. Oh, wait, I do. Wow, look at all this stuff. Trusty sword. A long, jagged sword that's seen better days. Ash light. A futuristic flashlight that overheats quickly. Very futuristic. I, I love the improvement. The problem with our modern flashlights is that they just don't overheat. If they solve that in the future. A tiny remote controller with a big button in the middle. Healing fluid. Hmm, what would I throw at it? I don't want to throw any of these away. Never mind. I, I, I'm not going to throw any of this. Okay. I see. Backpack. I see. Examine the dangling net. A dangling net hangs from a tree branch. Let me guess, it's designed to catch um, really stupid animals that walk into it? Inside of the remains of an unfortunate villager, tightly gripping something in his hand. Okay, I'll just uh, cut it open. It rips open, allowing the villager corpse to, pl corpse to plummet to the ground. You pry his bony fingers off a small, shimmering object. Yay! It's a locket. It's apparently sacred. Oh, those are bear traps? They don't look like... But there's no hinge on them. <laughs> there's an amputated bandit leg caught in the closed set of these steel jaws. 
with something metal in between. Now it's a do with the hands! It's a bad idea for me. Oh, come on, you wuss. Why do you even offer if you're not gonna... <sighs> Trusty sword! Yay! I have a fort! It just gets better and better, doesn't it? Oh, hey, I can examine the muddy puddle. This water doesn't look safe to drink. Is that it? What? I can dip things in it. I could dip my trusty sword in it. All right, let's go over here. Uh... Okay. This amber sludge has a strange kinetic property. I can use it in conjunction with bone fragments to make a gun. You'll be able to go twice. You can go twice first with as often... Off awesome cowboy badge? Well, no. Uh, let's make a zombie. Yeah! I have a zombie. What is this place? A bandit stands near the edge of the lake, firmly gripping a half-empty bottle of liquid in his hands. Oh, uh, I see. Taking swift notice of you, the bandit howls at you in a drunken stupor. Ugh! Uh, what are you looking at? What oh, piece of me? What have you been drinking? This is Crew Brew. One pint of this could kill an alka. It doesn't do anything to us Vindel, though. Tell you what. If I can finish a whole bottle of this, I, I'll let you live. Ah, uh, hmm. Drink, drink, drink. The liquid tastes funny. Then it tastes terrible. Then you can't taste at all. After unloading the contents of your stomach in the grass, you black out for several minutes. When you awaken, the band is standing over you, a toothy grin extended between his blackened lips. Okay, we're drinking buddies now. Let's go back to your village now that I'm with you. And make peace with your people. Because we drank together. Ah, that was pretty impressive. Here, take my other bottle if you get another craving for it. <laughs> See ya. A bandit snorts and takes another swig of the bottle before stumbling off into the forest. I'll take some empty bottles. Or not. Bandit graves. A huge patch of thin red gravestone stick up from the ground. Must have been some sort of battle here. Or they could have just dragged the gra the bodies here. I mean, like any other graveyard. A large cage is camouflaged in the trees. There's enough room for several wild animals or people. Spine flowers! Small mushrooms and flowers grow from these black vines that protrude from the water. A bandit is carefully picking at the spine vines as if he's searching for something. Ah, uh, buddy! Oh, hello, traveler. Haven't seen you in these parts before. Pay me no heed, and I'll be out of your way in a minute. What you doing? Looking for samples of toadstools that sometimes grow on these vines. Though it's disconcerting to find these vines growing this far into the forest, as I've yet to locate any fully grown fungi, it appears that an infestation hasn't spread as far far as I thought. Perhaps even it's not too late to contain it. If you would excuse me, I need to get back to my fo post before someone notices I'm gone. Farewell. The bandit snatches a few mushrooms from the vines, then scurries off. Hmm. Something shines up from the bottom of the murky lake. Well! Dead flesh floating up from the surface suggests it'd be risky to swim. <laughs> I could send my zombie, or I could hook it with my trusty sword. Hooking your trusty sword around the item, you pull it to the surface without getting your hands dirty. A shining lore that is perfect for catching dead fish! Joy. Sound. What can you turn this booze into? It has both healing and draining properties. Perhaps we could use both to our advantage. You really don't know your opponent until you've eaten them? What? 
Or I could just make a vampire out of booze. A booze vampire! I, 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 how can I possibly leech around? It doesn't, it's not fine, whatever. What do you guys got? Ah, uh, nice hooking item. I bet I could make it work on a lot more than just fish. Ooh, pretty! Bet your enemies will find this pretty too. What the heck? Make it a thing. Flail bait? I see a burning village just outside the forest. Probably the work of the bandits. Okay. Alright. Okay. Alright. So. You approach an alter altercation between two opposing sides. A powerful villager has burst out of his cage and is going to town on a group of bandits. And I notice he's a lucha libre. Ah, uh, hmm. I've got a side with the furry Lucha Libre, because he looks awesome. These guys these look kind of dumb, really, honestly. <laughs> Combining your strength to the villagers, you manage to take the bandits down with ease. As the last bandit lies defeated, the villager turns uh, to you with a scheming smirk. That was pretty impressive, friend. Now, are you ready to challenge me? Hmm... You know it, big guy. Let's do this! Brawny villager whose loyalty lies with the deity Dayfun? Who's Dayfun? I have so many things! Slow-moving zombie who was once the resident of a nearby village. He hits pretty hard. A thin, creepy alien in a business suit. He lost his mind some time ago. Oh my gosh, I can use... A lumbering dark alien biologist doesn't have a mouse. Oh my mouth. Oh my gosh, I can use each of them. A wise alien warrior in rusty armor. His ghastly appearance contrasts with his personality. Will reveal the strength and weakness of a single opponent. A tiny two headed leech. I suppose we could start with leech. Leech round plunges his teeth into Daphun Villager's body, draining health into you. Yeah, yeah, you keep on a flexin'. I'm going to. Well. A beautiful flail that everyone wants to get hit by. I would not want to be hit by it. Uh. Oh, the flashlight counts as fire damage. Interesting. I'm just gonna shoot you with a gun. Massive blast pulverizes the villager. Oh, great. Well, I could try to stun you with Gazer. Now nah, I can take a hit from this guy. Bam! Heavy bullet blasts it backwards. Daphne villager lifts you by your neck, jumping high into the air. The Daphne villager throws your back towards the ground, landing on you with both feet. All that only did 21, huh? Wuss! You call that an attack? Looks at his bulging muscles and smiles. Can I finish him with the sword? I think I can. I think I, I didn't. You're sent flying for 9 damage. Ouch! Uh, oh, oh no, a massive spinning kick! Oh, even better. A glorious battle! You've earned this victory, my friend. But we must now part ways. Defun is waiting for me. No, not dead! He, he's my friend now! I fought him, I beat him, I used my bare hands for the finishing blow. We're buddies now. Oh well, I'll just take my power belt then. Uh, if I mess around with things, I'm probably going to discover more stuff to kill me. There's quite a bit of power in this one. I should be able to make a mighty weapon, but it will be difficult to wield. You'll be just like a professional athlete after using this. Hmm, hmm. do I want another companion? I do. Bronster, a freakishly muscular Daffin villager who's, who's obsessed with his own good looks. 
Yay! I keep making friends somehow out of objects. Because that's normal. This pit is full of charred bodies. What did the villagers do to deserve this? A rusted statue of a bandit stands proudly in the middle of the forest. A small plaque at its base reads, Smokaj. A thin javelin is lodged deep within the stone within the statue's heart. Strange electrical energy circulates along its shaft, amplified by the statue's iron interior. Although the weapon is slightly loose, it would be unsafe to touch with your hands. Ah, uh, knock it out of place with a non-metal or projectile weapon. Well, all this stuff seems to be metal, so I guess I'll just shoot it! You use the flintlock pistol to safely remove the javelin. There we go, that spear just came right out. After the javelin is dislodged from the statue, its electric current mysteriously settles down. Examining the weapon closer, you notice the word Juro carved in the side. Oh. The arrogant statue of Bandit. Okay. A Dothan villager broke right out of this giant cage. Crying? Hello? Yeah. Oh, you're not like the last person I saw. Hello there? Are you organic or robotic? Because I can't quite tell. Inside the tiny cage is a creature weeping into its colorful garb, clutching a striped dagger in its hand. Noticing you, he immediately leaps to his feet, a hopeful gaze focused in your direction. Are the bandits actually really the good guys dealing with things that are aggressive and strange? Like, I have no context for anything going on here. Oh, thank goodness you've arrived. My name is Marita, and a scale artist. I've been trapped in here for several days. Have you come to release me? How would I go about doing that? If you slip something small between the cage bars, I can use my dagger to carve out a lockpick. That's a thin dagger. Why can't you just use it to pick the lock? You have a small metal item to carve into a lock pick? Ugh. Can't I just smash the cage with something? I'm afraid not. An Eskil's crafting blade is sacred. I dare not ruin it. Alright, what do I... I don't have anything at the moment. I can't help you. What? You can't just leave me alone. I'll die. Please don't walk away. As you walk away, a sharp cry rings out from the case. No! I just needed to go find something metal! Good grief, you... Ugh! You see that Marita has ended his own life. His bone dagger wedged within his... His, his bone dagger wedged within his windpipe. Looks like he couldn't take it anymore. Doggone it! Ugh. You just... <sighs> Pop... No. Ah! Fine, whatever. Let's go this way. There's quite a bit of electricity in this small weapon. I can make something from it, but its effects will be unpredictable. Rubs a balloon against his head and then asks you to touch him. Make me a weapon! Static spray. A tiny Kamusu beast is trapped in a net up ahead as you draw near. It stares at you with sad eyes. It's going to attack me for this. Sitting down to free it, the Kamusu crawls out through a hole in the net. Wait a minute. A second one suddenly leaps on you behind. Provide clever girl. So, yep. So, it was, it was a trick. Ow, ow. Leech! Oh, they don't have a lot of hit points. Uh, let me see. Only a 5% stun chance? Oh man, I totally thought I would get better than that. Oh man, it dodged and my sword still got chewed up. Oh, come on! Um, come on, come on, get him! Yeah! Look, did you see what I just did, man? Stupid, stupid predator! You should, should totally back off by now. Smart predators would have backed off. 
You know what a German suplex is? Because I just did one. You skin one of the Kamusus and collect its pelt. Ugh, it stinks. What has it been eating? What about the second one? You got two pelts. Not to mention their meat. Deserted stables. These bandit stables are currently not in use. The smell of manure and must. You mean musk? No, just and must. The smell of manure and must invade your nostrils as you trek through its dreary halls. Okay, Kimusa is cheerfully munching an open bag of feed. As you approach, it looks up and growls. Eh, I chase it away. Fine. For you. Pistol shot. Oh, how did you survive? Oh, crap. Fine, I'm gonna hit you with a flashlight. The concentrated light singes it. Ah. I take this feedback. Approaching the hollow watchtower, you shield your eyes from the murky sunlight that rains down through the open roof above. Roof above. Suddenly, there's a blade at your neck. Who are you? I am a dark scavenger, a supremely powerful being intent on draining your planet's resources for my personal gain. A traveler just visiting through. I'm not looking for any trouble. I'm a bandit! Prepare to die! Uh, I'm just a visitor passing through. Forgive me, I did not mean you any harm. I just wanted to be safe. My name's Maver from the Das Clan. A group of us came here to seek revenge on the bandits, but we failed miserably. Maver lowers his bow and motions towards a massive gash in his leg. I'm the only survivor, and I've been hiding out here ever since. You wouldn't happen to have anything I could use to crutch, would you, scavenger? I should make my escape soon. I could he give you a healing item. Give him the bandit foot? Oh, this is an interesting alternative. I may be able to stitch this on for now. What? There's a gash in your leg. Is you gonna stitch a bandit's foot on it? I don't understand this exchange. Please take this horde in exchange. If you blow into it, any nearby das will come to your aid. Although I must leave you for now, I swear these bandits haven't seen the last of us. Be safe on your journey, friend. I don't understand that exchange. These nets were probably used to capture animals. Okay. These fences could house quite a few animals. Okay. This broken stone barricade extends out from the side of the cliff. It's unclear whether the wall was built to keep the Vadil bandits in or everyone else out. An old gate lies before you, covered in thick thorny binds. There's a small hole at the base of it. Perhaps if you crawled through, you'd be able to open it from the other side. Let's get a small or thin ally. Let me see. Who seems small or thin? Um... Amber Zombie painfully crawls through and opens the gate from the other side. Yay! I have a whole new direction to go in. We have a lot of directions we can go in. How about this belt? We're on this belt is strong enough to set off anybody's allergies. If I were to skeleton, I'd be swelling up right now. Flushes as he cradles you in his arms. What the heck? Um, um, Alright, let's give you one for once. Oh, a teddy bear. Thanks. Alright, what about this horn? Horn emits a lovely sound. Perhaps I could create a weapon with its sonic capabilities. Gazer blows through the horn. A Das clan member comes rushing forward. You have no idea how he got on the ship. I could use a sonic weapon. Mm. A bandit in a fancy looking suit of armor kneels before a large lake, holding the head of two fellow bandits beneath its surface. You stupid bastards! I told you to stop drinking on your shift. 
But you didn't listen. Now you get to drink all you want. So, are you the bandit leader I was impersonating? I want that sword. Let's get involved and take that sword. Cautiously approach the odd-looking bandit. His yellow eyes meticulously study your shape. Hmm, a dark scavenger. Here? Have you come for our riches? You'd be a fool to steal from us. You would be a fool to try and stop me! How do you know who I am, though? Seriously, what the heck? I'm... You're talking to Amaran, legendary Vindil General. Unlike yourself, I've done my research and I know what I'm up against. If you know my strength, perhaps you should back down. Lucky you! Yeah, <laughs> that one's tempting. I have a few questions. Are you serious? Fine, what do you want to know? Oh, tell me about yourself. <laughs> All right, I'm one of the oldest members of the Vindil tribe. Samakad saw the potential in me when I was a mere grunt and swiftly promoted me to a position of power, having led successful campaigns against such tribes as the Das and the Eskela. Perhaps you've heard of them. My name has become synonymous with destruction. When the Vindil have outgrown this forest, we'll move to conquer foreign lands. Maybe even your home someday, Dark Scavenger. One thing at a time. Any more questions for me? Well, tell me about your leader. And here I was, astonished that you hadn't heard of me before. Simakocha is our leader, a wise and powerful warrior who's rightly earned his place at our army's apex. Only myself and a few others have ever had the honor of gazing upon his face. And make no mistake, Dark Scavenger, I will ensure that you never obtain that privilege. So, why are you killing everyone? Simple, really. They've been getting in our way, so we've had to wipe them out. We've offered their lives in exchange for their loyalty, but few obliged. And don't call us bandits. That's just a title given us to us by petty minds that don't appreciate our ambition. We're more like a fetus, gathering nutrients before spawning into a glorious dynasty. Actually, never mind. Don't refer to us as a species, fetus. And I miss my chance to see a dark scavenger in action? I think not. As Amoran pulls the bandit heads from the water, both fall limply to the ground. He held them under for far too long. Amaran's face goes pale. Yeah, I kept you talking for pretty long, didn't I? Stalling me was a clever, pretty clever trick, Dark Scavenger. Not that I, I needed them to defeat you, of course. Amaran steps away from you, trembling as his hands descends to the sword at his waist. It has been a while since I faced such a worthy adversary in battle. Do you mind giving me a moment to warm up? Nope, because you're going to run away. Wait, my weapon's stuck in its scabbard. At least let me get it out. Don't be dishonorable. Nah. H hold on. I, I realize you're quite strong, but perhaps even near my level. W why don't I just give you something for your trouble and we'll call it a draw. It's a trick. You're you're totally a trickster. Look, you, you, are, you look like Loki with those horns. Nope. Stubborn bastard. Amran retreats in the forest, accidentally dropping an odd blue crossbow that he must have been holding behind his back. A crossbow ammo looks valuable, but the weapon is volatile and could go off at any second. I'll dis... Wait a minute. I have him! Yes, of course he would. Crooked bolt with an ultra-sharp tip. Neat! Alright then, well, let's just heal real quick. Stun enemies to fill it back up. Oh, interesting. So we're going to stop here. Well, let's explore at least the, la the this area. Glass bottles are scattered all around and within the lake. Must be getting close to the Vindil Bandit Fortress. There's burnt out campfire surrounded by empty bottles, scraps of armor, scraps of armor, and animal bones. Must have been quite the party. A vacant Vindal bandit tent is pitched here. The floor is littered with scattered bending and bedding and empty bottles. 
you discover a small locked box with a pile of folded blankets. A strange green, green seal closes it off to anyone not of the Vindil persuasion. I don't have a Vindil bandit ally yet, so I'll just smash it with a blunt object. This has a high stun rate. This is probably the most valuable weapon I have. Does this count as blunt? Probably doesn't. Okay, it does work! A valuable accessory card from Alka Beast Teeth! Yay! Just what I needed, accessorizing! A small tree burrow. A batch of budberries resides within. A territorial pevin suddenly swoops down. If you want those berries, you're gonna have some competition. Feed it a small weapon or item? Good grief! I can take it. Ow. Fine. Um. Stuns all person temporarily. Wow, that's surprisingly useful. And two doses. Um. Tell you what, have some healing fluid? No. What's the least useful object I've got? This only has two bullets left. I hate to give it up, but, uh. Oh, high damage when they're stunned? And I'm thinking a lot about stunning with the Bell Basher. Oh, man. Alright, you know what? I'm gonna hit you with my trusty sword. The sword is too big, but it doesn't stop Pelvin from trying to eat it. Choking on the trusty sword, it falls dead to the ground. Awkwardly stepping over it, you take your delicious Budberry Prize. Can I take the bird, too? The, the, the bird mosquito? I, I might be able to make use of it. So many directions, so many things. What can we do with this bolt? The tip is quite sharp. It's a good thing I don't have any flesh that could accidentally cut while handling it. Projectile attacks will have a little extra flavor to them. The type of flavor that you don't want to eat. What does that mean? You, Mr. Fussy, a territorial tamed Kisuma. Okay. Like a bad idea to wear a necklace of sharp teeth around your neck. Oh, it's a great idea. Gives you a toothy grin. That's never a good... Oh, he gives me a toothy grin. The weapon I'm going to make for you. You can start your own line of tooth necklaces. Oh, I, I mean... Both of you are tempting on this one. Oh, which one? Which one do we want? Which one do we want? I don't know. I choose. <sighs> All right, I'll go with the mystery prize. No! Dentures! Ah! Dentures. He gave me dentures. Are you kidding? Well, it's got a chance of stunning and it's got two uses. I mean, it's not the worst thing, but <sighs> I should have taken the weapon. I should always take the weapon. All right. So many directions, so many things we can do yet. So, until next time, and every time, this is Hadrix, signing off.